Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, already November, uh, third day of November, and you know time's ticking. And I got I ran into a couple of things. Uh, one uh, half dollar sent me this uh, uh, link to the Ten Coin 2015 Somali Elephants, uh, about twenty one bucks a coin. So uh, you know you gotta kind of weigh this. It's it's a good deal for an elephant, but at the same time. You know the spot price is down to like 16 or a little under 16 or something like that so uh you know this coin is right now i guess five bucks over spot but at the same time it does have a tendency to appreciate after a couple of years so uh you know take that into consideration if you want to buy this and uh, uh jm bullion has a couple things for uh uh, sale here this is their on sale page every Monday that they have the OPM bar I don't think it's that good of a deal it's 17 12 for one ounce it's all right you know it's nothing special but it's just low premium then you have these coins down here the gold coins um, quarter ounce uh, golden horse might be a good idea to get this considering that um, the mintage is only eight thousand, right? And um, you know, goat. The year the goats already come out, and then uh, you know, when this um, ends up, you know, with no more mintage, no more coins, then they might have a t tendency to go up in value, right? And uh, the kangaroo. I'm not a big fan of the kangaroo, but you know, again, the mintage is quite low, so consider that. You know, take that into consideration. Uh, if you want to buy gold, it's still twenty five bucks over spot, uh, three seventeen eighty four a coin, and I checked uh, eBay, and as you can see in these results, uh, Atmex is charging three forty four, uh, Modern Coin Mart is charging three forty four, about the same price. So you get to save a little on the um, Golden Horse. Now I'm sure many of you know uh, about this. Uh, the Provident Prospect Round was on sale last night. Uh, you got to use the Josh Wise uh, coupon code and you were able to save and so you bought it for around 16 and change or whatever and uh, I checked this morning and it's sold out obviously um, I could have bought some last night but I did not uh, only because there is a chance that silver could go even lower and you could you know pick up this at a lower price later on possibility I'm not saying that it will okay so uh I have I did not uh, pull the trigger on this uh, this round, and in a few days uh, on November sixth, this Everglades coin will go on sale. Uh, I I bring this to your attention because uh, uh, this has a bird on it. It's actually two birds, and I thought it would be the second best out of the series for this year. Um, the last three coins, Sand Dunes, Shenandoah, and the arches were okay, you know, people were buying them. And for those of you who took advantage of the subscription plan for 10% off, that would have been great, you know. Um, they usually sell for around 180, 190 bucks after it, it sells out. But they ended the uh, subscription plan and now they have it back to the regular uh, price of 154.95 and, you know, on on this US mint site it says prices are subject to change so I'm hoping that this goes down lower to like 140 you know um, with spot being down to like 16 bucks it would make sense for the mint to lower the price a little bit because you know um, it's not it's it's not 154 95 obviously for five ounces it's under a hundred dollars um, I personally would wait uh, until they the spot price may go lower over time so I might wait for this to go down if it does then I'll pick some up uh, maybe at least one um, and the other thing is that next year they're gonna have Delaware this is uh, Florida um, Delaware is going to have almost exactly the same design so I don't know if that would you know uh, lower the value or increase the value or I don't know it's just a weird uh, kind of thing here where they make two of the same kind of coins and 
Delaware has nothing to do with Swamp. I don't understand why they would put something very similar like that. But between the two designs that I've seen so far, um, I like the Delaware uh, design a little better. And I'm going to bring that up just a, in a moment here. Hold on. So here's the Delaware coin, which has a, a more definitive uh, uh, texture and feathers and details to the birds. They're different birds, but the way they delineate the birds is almost the same. There's one here and one in the back. So, you know, Bombay hook might actually do well as well because people like birds on coins for some reason. It just looks cool. So uh, that's what I got for today. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or, you know, ideas, you can always message me and uh, I will speak to you on the screen later. All right? Thanks.